The Story of Gasoline Standard Oil Company of Indiana A typical oil field which furnishes the crude oil, from which gasoline is distilled. The crude oil flows, or is pumped from the well, to large field storage tanks. From the tank farms, the crude oil begins its long journey through pipelines, leading to the crude oil storage tanks, near the refinery. Pumping stations located about 60 miles apart, force the oil through the pipeline, under pressures of from 400, to 600 pounds per inch to the Oklahoma end of the pipeline. Map showing a portion of the 90,000 miles of pipeline by which crude oil is distributed to refineries throughout the United States. The refinery end of the crude oil pipeline. Mid-continent crude oil contains about 25% gasoline. Gasoline is separated from crude oil by distillation. In this process the oil is charged into stills, and heated with fire, or fire and steam. The gasoline is vaporized, and subsequently condensed. Animated technical drawings, and actual photography, will better acquaint you with what takes place, within the stills, and condensers. 
a battery of crude oil stills, where the first distillation takes place. Before charging, the still is filled with steam. This drives out the air, and avoids explosion. Large pumps, force the oil from storage tanks, directly into the stills. The still, is charged with 1,000 barrels, of crude oil. It is then fired. Gasoline, and naphtha, are distilled off first. They pass the first fractionating tower. The heavy oil is returned to the still for further distillation. The vapors are condensed. Then kerosene is distilled off. then gas oil. When the kerosene is off, the vapors are turned through the other towers, which affect a fractional condensation, separating the oil into different outs. The crude gasoline passes to the receiving house. The last to distill off is lubricating oil. The remainder is coke. The coke is hot when it is removed from the still. Still cleaners wear very heavy clothing to protect themselves from the intense heat. Petroleum coke is used for fuel and also for the manufacture of electrodes. The crude gasoline is next pumped into large agitators where it undergoes a chemical treatment for the removal of sulfur and other impurities.
the gasoline is agitated with compressed air. The treating operation is finished by washing with water, which is sprayed on the surface. The water settling through the gasoline carries with it the last traces of the chemicals used for treating. Treating methods are being constantly improved. One modern method is to pump the gasoline continuously through vertical tanks in which the treating takes place. This prevents loss by evaporation and is safer. After chemical treatment, the crude gasoline is subjected to final distillation for further purification and adjustment of boiling points. Steam stills The still is charged with crude gasoline. And steam is passed into it through perforated pipes. As steam passes through the crude gasoline, it brings about a distillation, carrying the lighter fractions with it. Therefore, the vapors passing off, are composed of steam, and pure gasoline. They pass from the condenser, into trap, in the form of gasoline, and water. Contrary to some popular opinion, gasoline and water do not mix. The water settles to the bottom and is drawn out. The gasoline overflows and passes to the receiving house. gauge, at the left, indicates flow, in barrels per hour. The stillman, controls operation, by carefully watching, the rate and the gravity, of the stream. Gasoline is also fractionated on rerunning stills using both fire and steam. Year 1924, the quantity of gasoline naturally contained in crude oil and obtained by fractional distillation does not equal the demand. It has therefore been necessary to convert additional portions of crude oil into gasoline. Cracking processes accomplish this. Until the advent of these cracking processes, gas oil, the 40% portion of crude oil, was a rather undesirable byproduct of refining. It is too heavy to burn in wick fed lamps and not heavy enough to make lubricating oils. By distilling under high pressure,
gas oil cracks, and yields 40% gasoline. The crude gasoline, from pressure stills, must also be chemically treated to remove, odor, sulfur, and other objectionable properties. Battery of pressure stills The still, is charged with 14,000 gallons, of gas oil. The still, is then fired. These stills, are fired with, mechanical stokers. The formation of vapors, and gas, creates a pressure, which is kept at, 95 pounds per square inch. The high temperatures, obtained by distilling the oil under high pressure, cause it to undergo a chemical reaction, called, cracking. The reaction, changes part of the heavy oil, into, gasoline. The gasoline, with some of the heavy oil, passes off as vapor, into the tower. In the tower, fractionation takes place the heavy ends being returned, to the still, for further cracking. The gasoline vapors, pass on, into, the condenser coil. And then, into, receiving drum. Excess gases, are taken off, thus maintaining, an even pressure of, 95 pounds per square inch. Gasoline, passes to, storage tank. Cracking processes, more than double, the amount of gasoline, obtained from crude oil. gas, is taken from, the casing head. Compression plant. Additional gasoline, known as casing head, or, natural gasoline, is recovered in the oil fields, by collecting, compressing, and cooling, the gas from oil wells. This condenses, the gasoline, contained in the gas gas, is compressed to, 250 pounds per square inch. The compressed gas, is cooled, and the gasoline, which condenses, is used to blend with, heavier gasoline, as it is too light and wild, to be used, alone. Loading natural gasoline, for shipment, to, refinery. The tank car, is filled through a tight cover, arranged so, that the vapors, can be recovered, and recompressed. Filling line. 
Gas Recovery Line Absorption Plant The distillation of crude oil and other refinery operations, particularly cracking, produce large quantities of gas. This gas contains gasoline vapor, which is recovered as gasoline at an absorption plant. Distillation Test Gasoline is manufactured to rigid specifications. The most important control is the distillation test. Exactly, 100 cubic centimeters of gasoline, is placed in a flask, fitted with a thermometer, and distilled, under specified conditions. The temperature, at which, the first drop appears, at the end, of the condenser is, the initial boiling point. Distillation continues, and the intermediate boiling points, are determined. The test, is completed, when all the gasoline, has been distilled. The appearance, of white vapors, shows that the flask, is dry, and at this point, the thermometer indicates, the highest temperature, the maximum boiling point, or endpoint. Chemical and Physical Research Laboratory Chemical and Physical Research Laboratory, where scientific investigations are carried on by trained men for the purpose of developing and improving processes and increasing the yield and quality of products. Miniature Stills for Experimental Work It is necessary for a refinery to provide tremendous storage for gasoline. This is filled, during the winter, to meet the increased demand, in the summer. Each tank, has a capacity, of 3 million gallons. From the storage tanks, gasoline begins its journey, to the consumer. Going in barrels, holding 50 gallons, each. The automatic filler shuts off, when barrel is full. Or going in boats, carrying 2.3 million gallons, each. or going in tank cars, holding 10,000 gallons, each. Main Distribution Stations Tank cars, are consigned to main distribution stations, from which, the gasoline goes out, by tank trucks.
filling stations. These trucks supply large consumers, garages, and filling stations. Many fires have resulted from the generation of static electricity on tank trucks. To prevent this, a wire connected to a steel rod makes a safe ground. How many gallons of gasoline, sir? So ends our brief story, of one of the most vital commodities, on earth today. A commodity, that has enabled rich, and poor, alike, to explore new fields of enjoyment. Adding to this, its service in the world, of commerce, we realize, that gasoline indeed, plays the important role, in the various phases, of our motorized existence. Standard Oil Company of Indiana, 